Hey y'all, it's that time again, fitness Q&A video. The first question comes from Sabrina. She asks, please discuss fasted cardio. Well, Sabrina, I know that there have been a couple of studies that, that have come out saying that fasted cardio is not effective or it's not good. Um, I personally really love fasted cardio and I don't do it year round. I just do it in the last couple of weeks getting ready for appearances or contests and I found that it helps me get leaner faster and typically I'll just roll out of bed. I will take 5 to 10 grams of branch chain aminos before I hit the track or hit the treadmill or elliptical or sled, whatever it might be. Um, and I found that the branch chains help to prevent muscle breakdown and then also help with recovery. So as far as fasted cardio goes, for getting that last bit of leanness, I'm definitely a fan of it. The next question comes from Kelly. She asks, I've heard you mention before that you do Tabatas. What exactly is it and how often do you incorporate them into your own training routine? Well, Kelly, Tabatas are a four minute circuit, 20 seconds all out, 10 seconds rest, 20 seconds all out, 10 seconds rest, and you repeat that a total of eight times for the four minutes. When they originally discovered Tabatas, it was one exercise eight times. Now you can, they found that you can kind of pick and choose and create the workout depending on what kind of resources you have available and what you want to train. So you could do just all upper body with weights. Um, I'm a fan of if I don't want to do fasted cardio at the gym, I'll just do a few Tabata circuits in my living room and I'll do mountain climbers, burpees, jump ropes, step ups, squat jumps, all kinds of exercises that you can do in a small space and really get a great workout that way. As far as implementing them into your current routine, maybe try it once a week and see how you feel. Um, and I would do it either as a workout finisher or as your cardio option. And you know, it's it is highly taxing, so I wouldn't go I wouldn't go overboard with it. The next question comes from Kara. She asks, creatine supplementation. How does your training change, and what changes to expect in your body, etc.? Well, Kara, I am a big fan of creatine monohydrate. I found that it's really great for helping build muscle. Um, the only drawback that I found, especially when I take it, is that I'll put on three to five pounds of water weight within a couple of days. So you will look a little fuller, but it's great for training. You want the muscles to be full of water, or fuller with water, because you'll be able to train harder and train longer. So you get those last few reps, which is going to lead to muscle growth. So if you can put up with a little bit of water weight, creatine monohydrate, is awesome. The last question comes from David. He asks, I would be interested in knowing your opinion on full body workouts versus split workouts. Well, David, I like full body workouts if I can only train three days a week. So it's good if you're short on time and it's good also to break through plateaus. So if you're doing a split training workout now and you know, you're tired all the time, you're not seeming to make progress, cut it down to three days a week and just do total body. Splits are really great for working on aesthetics and specialized strength. For example, I'll have a shoulder day and I want to work on building my shoulders again and, and having those nice round caps. If I have an hour to do it, I know that I'll be able to get all of my exercises in. So those are the, the main differences between full body and splits. I think it's going to kind of come down to what your goals are and how much time you have. That's it for questions for this time. Until next time, train hard y'all. Thanks.